Welcome to Rex Pines TV. I'm Angie Walker. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is March 1st, 2022. Now, let's take a brain break. Welcome to our brain break and SEL technique. Today, we will be meditating by breathing in and out with headspace. Let's take a moment to sit down and take a big, deep breath, breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. As you breathe in, a sense of taking in fresh air, the lungs expanding. As you breathe out, a sense of letting go. So relax with us next time for our next brain break and SEL technique. Don't you just love a relaxing brain break? I know I do. Now let's go to the word of the day segment. Hey David, do you understand any subject we're learning? Yeah, I do. Okay, just making sure because their test starts tomorrow, so I admonish you to study. Oh yeah, I was gonna study, but thanks for warning me. Wow, you know what admonish means? Yeah, admonish means to warn or to advise. Okay, I was just advising you to study for the upcoming test. Thanks for that. See, See you tomorrow, tomorrow on Word, Word of the, the day. day. Now, let's go to Destiny for today's sports highlights. Wow, I love learning new words every once in a while. I can't wait to see what tomorrow's word is. Sports fans, drag racing championships were just held last weekend in Arizona, and Robert Height won his second straight funny car title of the season. Funny cars are named after their funny looking shape, which is changed so the outside of the car is longer than the base under the car with the wheels, making the car look like its body parts don't belong together. Shockingly, to their design, these monsters can go up to 300 miles per hour. That's close to the speed of planes. Because of the speed, parachutes have to help them to stop at the finish line. We hear they're a lot of fun to drive. Now let's go to Vani for the lunch report. Thank you, Destiny. Today's lunch is crispy chicken patty, hamburger bun, potato wedges, sun splash, veggie juice, strawberry applesauce, barbecue sauce, and your choice of milk. Scholars, please let your teachers know if you'll be receiving lunch today. Bon appetit. Now let's go back to Angeli. That sounds delicious. Thank you, Vani. Sports fans, playoffs for our boys basketball team started yesterday and ends tomorrow. Wish them good luck. Let's go, Patriots. Today are the Gemline tryouts. Check out this flyer for more details. And remember, you must join this through Sign Up Genius to try out. Patriots, the hero store is open. Get there by 7.15 a.m. to avoid the lines. Last week, we had our amazing Black History show. Now, let's check out some highlights. Well, welcome to the Renaissance Behind Black History Show experience.
decade in American culture, it was Motown. in the media as a terrorist group. But that was never our mission or goal. Our goal is to uplift black people and assist my people. The 70s roared with black power and passion. Black culture was roaring, and through much consistency, many barriers have been broken down. July 5th, 1975, Arthur Ashe, 1943 through 1993, became the first African-American to win the British Man School Library. 1977, Andrew Young was the first African-American U.S. ambassador of the United Nations under President Jimmy Carter. We don't make progress by standing on the sidelines, whimpering and complaining, no. We make progress by implementing ideas. We are the ones we've been waiting for. We are the change that we see. If you're willing to walk down the right path and you're willing to keep walking, eventually you'll make progress. everyone in the show. Now, let's see what the weather is going to be like today with Randy. Thank you, Angelie. Hey, Patriots. Today's weather is 81 degrees Fahrenheit and partly cloudy. Today's a good time to fly a kite. In other weather news, do you ever wonder how auroras appear? There's no specific season or time when they happen, but they appear when solar winds are consumed by the ionosphere and collide with atoms, oxygen, and nitrogen from the Earth. They most likely are sighted at the North and South Pole. The colors can differ from green, blue, yellow, and sometimes red. If you ever come across the auroras, make sure to take a minute to admire it. These are super rare. Now let's head to Scott and Sonia for Weird But True Facts. Thank you, Randy. Good morning, Patriots. Here's this week's Weird But True Fact. Did you know that tornadoes have been known to sleep up to three years if the weather is moist enough for their needs? The reason for this is that snails need moisture to survive. If the weather isn't up to their standards, they can just sleep until it is. They do this when the weather is too cold. This is called hibernation, which is long-term sleeping in the winter. Or when the weather is too hot, this is called estivation, which is long-term sleeping during the summer. Night and night, sleepy snails. That's it for this week's Weird But True Fact. That was one weird fact. Today's birthday boys and girls are Anthony DeVilla, Melo Rivera, and Lydnell Ernest. Happy birthday. Now let's go back to Angelique. Thank you, Joshua. Patriots, here are your past expectations. Your presents, present yourself positively, I kind of enjoy others, 
to disclose and barrier respectfully, and succeed at everything. Now for yesterday's trivia winners. Congrats to Ms. Santori, Ms. Stone, Ms. Cavalita, Ms. Manning, and Ms. I am Thinkwa. You all had the correct answer to yesterday's trivia question, which was, which singer real name is Stefani Joanne Angelina Giornata? The correct answer is Lady Gaga. Children scholars, here's today's trivia question. How many neck bones does the giraffe have? Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 10 a.m. in order for your response for review. Winners will be announced on the next morning announcements. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you all a terrific Tuesday. And don't forget, this year we're all about fundamentals and forward focus. Have a great day.